you don't want to lose your hair through worry like them, follow this four, advice. Minus three, it's went down four. I'm like, the fuck have I done? I'm like, shit, that was it, wasn't I? I want them Darren G's fans. Darren fucking G? Who the fuck's he? Don't make me fucking laugh. I want them, someone, somebody else, like a fan of like Sean Atwood or something like that. Oh, fuck. Oh no. Well, good. As long as I've got the four fucking pedophiles. Fuck yes. <laughs> If you worry, you die. If you don't worry, you're still gonna die. So what's the fucking point in worrying? Unless it's Darren fucking G getting in your way, big man. You can't you worry? What? Because it's not gonna change it. If you can, if it's a problem, it'll be fixed. It's not a problem again, remember? Screw it and do it. There you go. Solve it. Right? Anyway. Do it, I'm gonna do it. Stop worrying. People worry too much. You worry. I've everything. And act is life or death but back when we'll do when there's a plague and i'll freak out and fuck off just like now there's a coronavirus a lot of people are worrying about that but worrying isn't going to fucking change it worrying is the fuck all just do stuff like wear your mask and act like fuck all's happening enjoy wearing your mask i mean hell it's only when you get into a bank just now i couldn't get into a bank like this before when i went into a bank like that they locked the door, they didn't throw me out the door, they locked the door and the shutters went down and I said, it's not a real gun, it's just my fingers bang bang, see, it's empty <sighs> some of these gullible cunts think this is actually loaded just because I've got guns that good old pick from my younger days oh look how good looking I am ha! right, no but right, so that's what Marcus Ailey's done, he solved problems it's problem solving Got nothing to do with anything else. So it's the S is the piece itself, the S is the piece itself, the S is the piece itself, the S is the piece itself. Over and over again, we learn to deal with it. You learn to deal with it either from others or through your own mistakes. So there's a lot of people worried about the corona, I say, because they're losing their jobs, homes, partners. People are actually going through some of that already, right? It happens, they'll handle it. They always have those fucking junkies jumping about, selling drugs, still collecting the dough. So I'm still fucking paying them. And they're jumping about making more money than me. And taking money off me. <laughs> what you want? We ain't gonna take money off them, but you know, but shit, no, I was gonna say that online. I better not just in case. Nah, I'm not a fanny. I like to share the love. Big up to Sam Walker for all the stuff he does, you know. Who's that other oh, cunt? What's his cunt's name again? He's fucking just gonna go claim to rob drug dealers and all that and showing off his watches, going shopping. You're like, ooh. Danny Simpson. That's who I'm on about. Danny Simpson. And also, you had the tax man, UK's hardest man, Brian Cockrell. Um, but he was, he was different. He was. He was like, um, he was like the good guy. He wasn't doing it for his own gains or anything. He was doing it to like keep peace, keep respect, keep things in order. You know, so like, this like innocent like citizens won't like get hurt and stuff like that. So there's different types of taxmen, if you know what I mean. So there's that. Anyway, I'll I'll let you just carry on watching me speak a load of verbal diarrhea. <laughs> Like I usually do. Ah oh, man, never mind. Right, here we go. It was funny. At least Chop had a laugh with it, you know. Even if half the stuff was lies, he's he was still funny. Or people turn their lives around and do well. I like seeing things like that. But when someone's claiming to like rob these drug dealers that that has actually no proof of or anything, just a phone call from threatening them, which anyone can do. Phone threatening someone, aye, of course they're going to be worried on the other side because they don't know who's, who the fuck they're talking about, what's been said, or what's going to happen. They don't know if someone's watching them or not. I do it all the time. <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes I just say, I'm watching through the window, like, oh, they'll, they'll say, where are you? And I'll just go, not that window. <laughs> Knowing fine well, they'll go, the fuck, and go and look at the other window. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, nope, the one above that. <laughs> and it's so funny because like, you can hear, I feel, I, actually seen, I have done that before, you could hear them panic and 
I thought, fuck, I better actually do something. I had to actually get out of my bed and fucking ran up to where they, they stayed. And my, one of my mates who was there drove by in the car dead fast and the fuck, he's off his fucking head. I was relying on this car still being there so I could find out where this guy stayed. Because anyway, that was a true story from the past. I'll tell you this one day, it was fucking hilarious. Guy was a dickhead. He deserved it. But it's like, <laughs> worrying, right? So think, think about him. Um, what were you worried about six months ago? Can you remember? If you remember, then if you're still worried about it, fucking fix the problem. If you can't fix the problem, there's no point in worrying about it. You know? It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Worrying's not going to change it. Kind of like the coronavirus. You might as well just keep living your life and act as if Stop watching the media. The media is just scaring you. And they're scaring people into worrying, they get worried, they get ill. When you get ill, you think you've got coronavirus, you don't have it. Some people, fortunately, they do. It is real. Some people are dying. Very sorry for that, especially for all the family members who've lost someone. But you just got to keep going, don't you? You can't just give up and stop. It's just worrying. Worrying is the end of everything. If you worry, that's you, you're screwed. Don't get me wrong, right? a wee bit of worry can be good because it's an alarm. You get a worry, oh, fuck. As soon as you get a worry, you see the problem, you go solve it. So no one's saying it's a problem, it's an obstacle for solution, right? So you go and sort that. If it's whether it's lose your job, get another job. Your flat accidentally burns down, right? I haven't got another flat. <laughs> it did accidentally burn down, I didn't mean it burned down, right? I fell asleep. Fire, I know died three times in it. You mean, come on, as if I would do that on purpose and stay in it. Not carry the girl and I run back in. There's another story I can tell you. You know, I've got all these two stories I can tell you and building up now that I'm now that I'm feeling more myself rather than a wee bit wasted. I was always valued up my tits. And then going on and me just talking about <coughs> how I end up like that, the, the suicide attempts, stuff like that and and you found it, I talk about that and this one, I'm, I'm going to upload it. I mean, it, and then it's just basically, I mean, like, you can walk along a beach, there's a guy throwing loads of starfish back into the sea, but they keep washing up. And like, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing that for? It's a waste of time, you'll never see them all. And you picked up one, you threw it in the sea, and he was like, well, I just saved one, didn't I? And then I think it's not a waste of time, but you think about it, as long as you can save one person, You've done, you've done good. So I, I'm telling my stories of you know, trying to kill myself stupidly and how my family felt, they reacted and what happened after it. And I thought, what I was putting them through. Do you know, so I'm hoping that someone might watch that and they'll think, they'll think as well and they'll realise and then start doing what I was doing to, to change it. Right, but that's in the next video. This, this video is about worrying. Which I suppose does lead to that as well, but that's in that video, right? But <clears throat> it's like a lot of people worrying and it's not the end of the world. They're not, if it's a life or death situation, it's like not a saber-toothed tiger's coming for you and, or something like that, or a guy's a lot of money and he's holding a gun to your head and you're, you're fucking skint, but you still get your fucking money, right? Ah, why do you just fuck? He's all bumped. Nah, I don't know any money. I'm only kidding on. That was just for entertainment. So anyway, when it was on about worrying again, you can't remember what you're worrying about in the past, which means you've spent so much time worrying over fuck all that's happened, right? You don't, you don't want to be that person, do you? Practice mindfulness, aye? Because when you practice mindfulness, you're living in the now, the present. Because it's the future that you think about when you start worrying. So if you bring yourself to living in the now, you know, you, Keep bringing yourself in the your breathing. Give your brain a rest from worrying. You know, or what people are thinking about you. A lot of people are worried what people think about them. But and you think, why? They're probably worried what you think about them. But if you worry what people are thinking about you, then you're not getting a chance to process things properly and solve your problem. The only way to solve that problem is fuck what they're thinking. Do you know? Or even saying, 
you, you've got to fucking just listen to yourself, you know, look after number one. So if you've got a problem, that can be fucking solved, solve it. Don't sit and worry about it, just go and solve it. And afterwards you'll feel much better, but another problem will come up or obstacle for solution, and you solve that. And it's going to keep happening, because history repeats itself. Life's not just all fucking, as Rocky says, life ain't all fucking sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> hey, man! Rocky, I got the sunshine and rainbows here. Doesn't matter how hard you punch, it matters how many punches you can take and keep going. Ah, <coughs> you're right, Sylvester Stone, and I. <laughs> It's true, but the Rocky movie, some of the stuff he's got in it, watch it, motivational as hell. And it, it helped me. Do you know what I mean? I'm fine. You know? <laughs> I do actually have a Twitch, by the way, but I, I put that one there, but I do have a wee Twitch, and I go, I go, ah, we're not gonna, and I don't know where that bit comes from, but came fucking later in life. You know? So I was saying, say I wonder what an outcome, right? Living in the future, I can live in the future that causes anxiety, stress, worry. Worry, there you go. Live in the past that causes depression and stuff because some things you think the good times, you think, oh, well, I can't have the good times again, or I think the bad times, you start fucking feeling more again. So you live in the now, right in the present, just constantly breathing. Your body's natural state is joy. You gotta keep practicing it. It's meditation, go for a walk. When you're eating dinner, just focus on what you're eating and chewing and to take your time. Slow down. You see more things when you slow down. I mean, like, I seen a stop sign when I slowed down once. And this time I didn't run the person over. <laughs> I did. I hit them in the car, but they weren't dead. It's <laughs> joking. People always can't believe me. This guy's, this guy's not right. But I'm no wrong either. You know? Life, life's too short, right? Life is too short to sit and worry. You know, you gotta go out there and live your life. Take what's there and go and enjoy it. So what if you lose your job? So what if you lose your car? So what if you lose your mortgage or something like that? Other people are going through that shit too. Fuck the one percenters that are up there making all the money. They, they've got their issues, they've got their problems. They're depressed as fuck. Some of them are fam famous people. They kill themselves and stuff. Comedians, I think comedians are putting on a front of it to be funny because they're really depressed and anxious underneath. I mean, look at look at Robin Williams hung himself. Eh, there's other comedians that have killed themselves. Eh, rock stars have killed themselves. It's not always through drugs. It's A lot of them take drugs because they've got problems. A lot of things, that's ah, the drugs, it's drugs. Like, a lot of people take drugs because they've got fucking trauma. I, 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 I've got PTSD from a stabbing, from a car crash, from a house fire, from an overdose, from all my mates dying. Quite a lot of them died. Uh, you know, a, a car crash wasn't me running people over, right? That was a, a collision car crash. Uh, and the house fire, I was watching up and smoked too and I fucking fell asleep as well. You know, how fucking ironic is that? And it's true. My life's just all fucking mental stories that are funny. Hell, when I was stabbed, I remember looking down thinking, fucking brand new Scotland top. It's sliced all the way down there. Because you see the... See the scar, you know? <laughs> Another one down there. I was stabbed in the back of the head. I just thought there were punches at the time. I remember thinking, fuck, these cunts are harder than I thought. It's right up man and fucking kick fuck out with them. <laughs> they ran away. Turned up my scot until I had 17 slices in it. I was only slashed five times. Stanley knife, I was like, fucking hell, man. There's two of them, I know. What is, people say, what they said, they came up to the pub and they said, see me ragged all over the floor. Alan doesn't need any help. <laughs> they didn't know I was getting stabbed. Fuck off. <laughs> but anyway, I got the guy back. Nearly killed him, thanks to the help of a steel skip. Went from a puddle of his own blood. I was wanting him to die. I wish he did die now. Because further down the line, my best mate, I'm not going to say his name, I won't say the name of this. My best mate died from overdose at his hands. And he wasn't into his stuff. He wasn't doing all that. He was. He was kind of losing it a bit, right? We got Martin's in for four. Before the CIE were after him, it was easily led, and then that went and happened. So, 
I'm, not, I'm after that guy again. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's the doorbell going. I thought it was a. Uh, I thought it was my counsellor. My counsellor's home visits now. It's quite good. But anyway, life's too short. You know, choices and made and now rewarded later. Brains worry now. I bought that later. You know, but fuck all that. Living you now. He was in. Another good way to stop worrying is by helping others. Help others. You help yourself. Because when you help them, you're forgetting about your problems and you're helping them get over their problems. Then once you do that, you realise you can get over your problems and you have your problems. So once again, I've said problems so many times, but remember, problems do not exist. I hope he's watched this to the duration. I hope he's watched it through. I hope he's had a real laugh with me because this is me normal. Not, not fucking normal medication or anything where I'm fucking slurring my words and stuff. My boss told me to do videos normal and look back to the videos where I was like, <laughs> so already missed that man, what were you like? Our videos where I was like, <laughs> So already missed that man, what were you like? Our videos where I was like, <laughs> To see what it was like. And then, I did do that and I thought, Oh Christ, I can't even make up what I'm saying there. No wonder people are saying what you're saying. And the subtitles are coming up with different words, you know. Anyway, we are lovies and leaves people. Um, you just remember, there's no such thing as a problem, it's an obstacle for a solution. I'm sorry it's been 17 minutes, but I hope it's been 17 minutes, so you're going, he's got a point. He has got a point. <laughs> Catch you later, guys.